one of the sacred place for the Hindus in the world, not only for Nepal, not only for India. So Hindus living in uh, abroad, also there's a sacred place. And they try to visit once in their lifetime. We are in this very sacred and quiet place and we are actually um, witnessing a cremation. What is the process when someone passes away? The dead body cannot keep more than 24 hours at home. So before that, uh, people try to do the cremation as soon as possible. So before that, before when we start cremation, we have to send a message for the relatives, good friends, and of course the family members. And if they are there, and we started doing cremation, it was held by the community people. They bring the dead body to the place where we do cremation. And before uh, the cremation starts, we will prepare the wood for that. It's about 200 kilos wood we needed for one cremation, normal cremation. And we keep the dead body lying on the top, horizontally. If it's a Hindu cremation, the head of the dead body towards the north. Right. So that is, will identify the Hindu cremation. Hindu. And if it's south, Buddhist. towards south means Buddhist cremation. And once the cremation is over, it takes three to four hours to do the cremation. We throw the ashes into the river. This is a river called Bagmati, one of the sacred rivers of Kathmandu Valley. Finally, this river rejoins in Ganges in India. So always cremation is done on the bank of the river. Wara li imut shahat bhala vist u ma yilbsu ilbis abiyat u lirġil izom mu xaro mim aċxar i aċxruq kul xar dejjen flisez zjornata. Minna ħalu ħaran aħna l-vist u li nafu aħna tradizjoni maltija i għalin ilbsu l-swet.